morning everyone my name is Tarun Pal Gandhi and today I have started another very good initiative of counseling students or guiding students towards their career in this regard this is my first video please stay tuned with us and watch the video till end what next after plus two the thought of a student which course should be selected after 12th you are now studying in 12th standard final exams of the 12th standard will be over soon you concentrate on your study during the examination period and do not diverse your mind in thinking about your career after 12th but once you are qualified in the 12th examination now it is the time to think over the career options and courses after 12th and many more related questions that are puzzling in your mind about what should you choose after 12th this thought is clear but answer to this thought is not clear at all because we have never ever evaluated ourselves but when it comes to choosing a career you will have to evaluate yourself first you will have to identify your skills you will have to identify your strength and your weaknesses 12th result the confusing time this is one of the most confusing time in the student's life first you should counsel yourself suppose that you have chosen PCM group or PCB group or commerce or arts in 12th standard it means you have chosen your area of interest do not surprise or tense you have done your best but yes of course if you wish to change your field for higher studies you can go through many options according to your choice or your interest we will discuss those options in details today in this particular presentation the first step before choosing is to counsel yourself in the process of counseling yourself you will have to identify your strengths and your weaknesses first we will take up a separate chapter for this later on there are some very important considerations we should consider before choosing a career for oneself you should consider the following points before making any decisions about your career the first point know your work style second identify your skills third determine your goals Four, understand your values. Five, do the match. Six, remember that the things can change. Seven, talk to the people who work in the same field. Eight, use your resources. Nine, be flexible. We will discuss all these points in detail in our next few slides. Now the first consideration is know your work style. Your work style and your area of strength influences your ability to to thrive in certain careers there are basically two types of work styles first responsive and the second one is assertive these can further be divided into less responsive and more responsive and less assertive and more assertive as you can see in this figure those who are less assertive and less responsive are the analytical ones likewise more responsive and more assertive people are expressive ones so work style directly belongs to the personality of a person we will be having a separate presentation on this but for now you should know about your work style is a very important driver in choosing your career wisely identify your skill every career requires a different skill set sales manager needs great leadership skills and the teacher needs to be able to communicate effectively with both students and parents Take some time to figure out what you are good at. List every talent and skill you have, you know, even if it doesn't seem to be marketable. Knowing every skill that you have, even ones that don't seem particularly marketable, can help you find a career that you will enjoy and be good at. Like it will help you decide your future. For example, being good at video games might not seem like a marketable skill, but dig a little deeper. What exactly are you good at when it comes to video games? Creative problem solving or decision making? These are important skills that can apply to a number of different careers. Remember, your skill plays the most important role at your workplace and is important for you to decide your career. Determine your goals. What do you want out of a career? Do you want to help other people? Do you want to travel? How much money do you want to make? 
if you are pursuing a career that doesn't align with your long term goals it is unlikely that you will ever feel truly satisfied with it of course goals change over time and things that were once extremely important becomes less so it is still good to have an idea of what you want so that you have something to work toward if your goal is to earn money or if your goal is to be an entrepreneur or your goal is to become a doctor and opening your own clinic this goal setting process shows your personality traits now you will ask me how suppose if you want to be an officer and set a goal accordingly it shows that your personality is of leader or is very dominating and if you will become a clerk then you cannot survive in that environment because it is against your personality you will never be happy at all from your work as you will have to report to the superiors all the time so setting up goal process is very important understand your values of all the tips of choosing a career thinking about what you value in a job is one of the most important do you love working independently or do you need social interaction throughout the day to feel fulfilled is it important for you to spend time with your family and be home at a certain hour every day or are you fine with working every hour time and having a more unpredictable schedule really think about these questions and pass over any career that won't match up with the things you value most if you are a social person and want people around you every time then it is better to go for a career where you will meet people more frequently and if you are shy and love spending time with yourself only then it is better to go for a career where you will be working alone quietly without any disturbance do the match you will also have to do some math and think about the amount of time and money it will take for you to get where you want to go how much education is required for you to get your dream career are you willing and able to put in that time and the money that comes with it suppose your father wants you to be a doctor and somehow you manage to get an admission for a mbbs c now you spend your 4 years and for example an amount equal to 50 lakh rupees and become a doctor somewhere but it was not your decision that is why you didn't give your best during these 4 years you do not have the skill to operate a critical patient would you be able to survive in front of those who had chosen this career because of their passion and are extremely good with their work obviously answer is no so the matching of your skills your values with your goals is very important remember that things can change there are a million of best careers list out there that will say you should strive for a certain career because you are guaranteed to make a certain amount of money with it however there is no way to totally guarantee job security and stability there might be a lot of demand for a job now but what about in 10 years you don't have to completely disregard predictions about the outlook for a certain job but don't choose a job just because it is number 1 on a list somewhere things can change over time and the job that was once number 1 might end up not even making the list a few years from now for example in 1970s or 1980s information technology and use of computers was just a fantasy and was not at all a profession but now this is the most valued and most desired profession of today things can change over time if you have the ability to see future you can do wonders in your career talk to people who work in the same field talking with someone who is already working in the field you are considering can be extremely helpful if you can meet with multiple people that's even better a 15 minutes interview can tell you a lot about a specific career ask questions about the pros and cons of the job whether or not the person would choose if it it if they could go back in time and what kinds of skills they have found to be most beneficial job shadowing can be just as if not more beneficial following someone around for a day is kind of like getting a glimpse into your future you will get a good idea of whether or not you actually want to do the same work that this person is doing which can help solidify your decision about 
a future career if you want to be a doctor then visit some doctor and have a conversation with them if they like their career or not i will suggest you to visit some uh, less famous ones less skilled ones and have their interviews ask them what they wanted to be actually and what they are now then compare you will get a better idea of choosing that career for you do not blindly think that they are happy with their job use your resources you are studying in a school you have access to all the teachers here who can help you decide what career would be best for you teachers can give you tips for choosing a career helps you apply for a right course for you and put you in contact with someone to interview or shadow there are also lots of options online that can help you narrow down your choices for example our school library website librarykv1.home.blog is posting updates on regular intervals containing tons of information for school students like you who are trying to choose a career you can use all these resources wisely to decide your career use all these resources available with you and then take a decision about your career be flexible when you have invested a lot of time and money into training for a certain career it can be hard to admit that you aren't actually interested in it a lot of people end up unsatisfied because they stuck with a career path just because they didn't want to feel like they had wasted all the time they spent preparing for it remember it is never too late to start over if you are not happy with the path you are currently on look at the big picture a couple of extra years in school will be worth if they help you get to a career you truly love instead of one that you can only tolerate if you are considering switching paths and setting your sights on a new career work through these tips and figure out what will really satisfy you be flexible with your skills your values your decisions and change the time required now it is a time to land your career once you have made a decision you are out of the woods right not quite now it is time to put these tips for choosing a career into action but don't panic there are tons of resources out there to help you land your dream career from information on types of resources to tips on filing out an application don't hesitate and apply this and make it a reality this is it for today thank you so much for watching and listening may god bless you all please subscribe to our channel for more more videos like this in future thank you so much